In this tutorial, we'll look at using the polyline command. But first, I will draw some line segments using the line command. Now, I'll use the polyline command. Here is the icon on the draw toolbar. From the keyboard, you can type P line or use the alias, which is just PL. Press enter, and just like the line command, I'm being prompted for a start point. So I'll select one, and now I have a lot of different options which we didn't have with the line command. But I will continue to enter line segments the same way I did with the line command. You see that the polyline command, at its simplest level, operates in exactly the same way as the line command. Now let's take a closer look. If I click on a line segment, that I drew with a line command, you'll see that a single line segment is highlighted. You can also see these blue grips. We have one at each endpoint, and then also at the midpoint of the line. If I select the line segments that I drew with a polyline, you notice that all the different line segments are highlighted. So this is the basic difference between the polyline command and the line command. In the line command, you can draw different line segments, but they are separate objects in the AutoCAD database. Whereas with the polyline command, you have separate line segments that are all still part of the same object. Now, I will press escape to unhighlight and get rid of the grips. In fact, I will undo both commands. Now let's look at the polyline command again. This time, I'll use the icon on the Draw toolbar, and I'll draw two line segments. So, I've got two line segments, but you notice I have all these different options here. So we will look at what the Arc option does. If I type A for Arc, and then press Enter, you see that I'm not drawing with straight line segments anymore. I'm drawing with arcs. So if I click here, I've created an arc. I'm still in arc mode, so I can continue to draw arcs, each arc tangent to the next. Notice that the prompts have changed a bit. I can type L for line, and this switches us back to straight line segments. I'll create a couple. And notice you have the option to close. Type C for close and press enter. We now have a closed polyline. It's a single object represented in the database. And we'll see that these closed polylines will be very important when we start creating 3D solids. I will now undo the polyline command. And we will take a look at another polyline option. Select the polyline icon and choose a start point. Notice that it says the current line width is zero, but we can change this by typing W for the width option. The default starting width is zero, but I will make it five. Then it prompts for an end width, and I'll accept a default of five. Now when I draw my polylines, I'm drawing with a considerably greater line weight than I had previously. So that's another use of the polyline command. You can control the line thickness. This completes the tutorial on the polyline command in AutoCAD.